On January 12, 1856, John Singer Sargent is born in Florence. As he ages, he trains to become a painter, and he ends up in Paris wanting to make a name for himself. Eventually, he meets a woman named Virginie Amelie Avegno Goutreau. Originally born in New Orleans, she fled the United States after freedom rang a bit too hard and the Confederacy lost the Civil War. At the moment, she's married to a prominent French banker named Pierre Goutreau. John Singer Sargent decides that she would be an excellent subject for a portrait, and he puts a ton of time and effort into painting her. He finishes it in 1884, and, proud of his work, he enters it into that year's salon. The salon was just a really big and famous annual art convention in Paris. At the salon of 1884, he unveils his painting. I am now going to show you Madame X, Sargent's portrait. I want to warn you, though, what you're about to see is incredibly disturbing. If you are at work, in school, or anywhere in public, you may want to click off of this video. You know what? I'll let a content warning as well. Not for anything in particular, just a general warning because this painting is absolutely horrifying. Skip ahead a bit if you don't think you can handle it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, you don't notice what's wrong with it? Take a look at her right shoulder. The strap isn't on her! How scandalous! The unveiling of Madame X is rightfully met with immediate disgust, outrage, and horror. People are furious over her right shoulder, but there are also people just mocking the painting as a whole. One guy even writes, When one stands 20 meters from the painting, it looks like it might be something, but when one gets closer, one realizes that it is only hideousness. Damn. Both Sargent and Goutreau are ruthlessly bullied by all of Paris, and the controversy is so bad, Sargent flees to England in 1886, having been effectively cancelled. He eventually paints over the portrait, adding a strap this time. The controversy brought incredible fame to the painting, and he sells it to the Metropolitan Institute of Art in 1916. Sargent didn't let being bullied by an entire city get him down, and he continued painting portraits. He worked with many high-profile clients, and even painted the presidential portrait of Theodore Roosevelt. Currently, he's widely regarded as one of the greatest portrait artists of all time, so I guess he turned out alright. So, what can we learn from this mini history lesson? Uh, maybe... Canceling artists is a tradition as old as time. Y yeah that's it. Let me know what you think of these little mini videos, because I may do more in the future. Thank you for watching, and uh, see ya.